mom's on her way to pick me up. I'm going to see my GP today. We're going to be working on putting more information on the um, wheelchair prescription. Um, I'm not feeling very good today. I haven't felt good in, in a while, though. But um, I'm hanging in there. Um, my biggest complaint today is I'm having an interstitial cystitis flare. And, um, I don't know, I don't really have enough time to medicate. I normally take about 15 minutes to medicate, and I'm going to take a hit and go, so it'll be something, but I'm going to be in a lot of pain today, I know that. Um, when I got up this morning and got out of my bed, I noticed I was very sore today. So, I don't really know what I did to do anything to make me sore, but my body for you. I'll update you when you're... I'll update you when I'm in the car. <laughs> hey, so we're on our way to my um, GP. We're going to be talking about him putting more information on the um, wheelchair um, prescription. Um, hopefully, if he has more information, she'll be able to get me a wheelchair without a um, more confirmed diagnosis. Um... I was being sent to genetic testing, but I was denied because my doctor wrote down the information wrong. Um, the reason she wrote it down wrong is because she's not very um, familiar with EDS. Um, so instead of rewriting the referral, she's sending me to somebody else that works in the same building as the genetic offices. So she says that if, um, what the fuck was I saying? So she said if, oh, so she said, bleh. so she said if um, he thinks I need the, the, to do the genetic testing, he'll definitely get it done, which is good, but I kind of hope, I kind of wish she would just like go ahead and like rewrite it, but she's like, I don't really know enough about it to do that. And I'm like, well, I've looked into it and it looks more like classic like if I have any type um, and besides looking into just EDS I want to look into other things too she didn't seem to want to um, pursue any other options she's just like I'm just gonna send you to this guy and he'll deal with you which I'm excited because she says he is the best in the world apparently and that I'm lucky to be able to see him so um, we're gonna be trying to get the um, wheelchair thing out of the car it's a pain in the ass I don't I feel like eventually we're probably gonna have to find a different ramp that's better I don't know how we're gonna do it because if my mom has trouble doing it I'm probably gonna have a trouble moving the ramp so I wish my flare would go away fuck it hurts so we're in the chair it's not like I have to walk I know It hurts, it hurts, it hurts. Why is there never any disability parking? Ever. It's a hospital. They should have like a bunch and they have like maybe 10. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I guess correctly. Oh, I want to go sweep. Do we really have to park this far out? I did the other day when I came. Yeah, see, if I didn't have my wheelchair and my mom wasn't taking me, I would have to go home because there'd be no way I could walk from all the way here to up there. Um, and even if my mom was with me with the um, walker, I think that would be very difficult because of all the bumps on the ground. Um, there's a lot of shitty potholes where I live. Even on my street, it's terrible. I would definitely have to keep sitting up out of the chair and then um, from sitting out of the chair, let her roll over it and then sit back down. Which really aggravates my pots, which is postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. What's the hardest part of putting the ramp in the car? It's heavy. Is it? And your dress is right. She trying not to show everybody her underwear. Right. It's heavy. It was on your back. So I'm going to muscles and arms. 
because I type all day. I don't lift weights. Well, thank you. You're welcome. shot um this one went a lot better i had one one day that went terrible i couldn't move my arm afterwards i have no idea what the lady did but um they told us to go to the emergency room that day i don't think we did we probably should go to the emergency room when they tell us to but we didn't um honestly i think she just hit a nerve but this time she did it pretty well it's just a little sore nothing what is this nothing too um bad but how do you like the whole hook on my head? I didn't know I was going around with that. Sporting. I should put earring on it. Hi. So I'm back from the doctor. My arm's feeling pretty good. I mentioned in the video that a nurse messed my arm up. I do want to clarify though that the nurse that did it today is not the one that messed, up, messed it up in the first place. Um, I got my first B12 shot with Dr. Shelton and he was, his nurses were fine, they're always fine, they've done a good job. But when I go to Cantrell's office, my arm hurts a lot more when they give me their shot. So, I don't let them do it anymore, because I don't know what the fuck they're doing, but they're pretty much like paralyzing my arm every time they give me that shot. And it's just B12. It's not a normal um, reaction, so I don't know if it's where they're putting it. It doesn't seem to be very much different. And I'm relaxed and everything, calm. It's I don't like needles, but I'm not like crazy scared of them or whatever. Um, I always make a shitty joke. Well, fuck, I didn't get a piercing after this one. Um, hi, Lily. But I am very content with how this went, and. Um, think we put a lot more information down not think but we obviously did put a lot more information down but um I was excited that and surprised that he was so willing to write a bunch more stuff down and redo the form um so many people like when there's a mess up they don't want to fix it they either want to send me to somebody else or it just doesn't get fixed um, so, even though he's a guy, I don't really, um, feel very comfortable with guys, but I seem to be very, very comfortable with Dr. Shelton. Um, we don't always see eye to eye, but, um, he has been a good replacement for Crystal, which was my previous doctor. She wasn't, she was like, um, his... I don't know. Not really assistant. I don't know what you call him. She was under him. So she wasn't a full doctor. She was probably still going to school or whatever. I like him. He's pretty good. I am going to have to change doctors eventually because he doesn't take Medicaid. Um, but in the meantime, he's helping me. And as long as he's helping me and, you know, I still can use Aetna which is um, the insurance that my mom gets through work. I can use it until like, I'm 26. Um, sorry if you can hear my cat playing. She has like a little toy. It's kind of a little noisy. But we put down um, the juvenile rheumatoid arthritis, carpal tunnel syndrome, polyneuropathy, weakness in all the extremities, pain, subluxations and dislocations, what else? Is that it? Postural orthostatic, tachy Postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. Hmm. I don't know what else. I don't know if I'm missing anything or if that's all. Um, I asked if scoliosis would be one that we could use and he says no. I don't really know why. There are people in wheelchairs with scoliosis. 
but I don't think it would help me get the power chair option. Um, yeah, I think that's all of them. So, I had a decent day. I did take a nap, um, which was nice. And um, I have baby kittens in my garage, uh, which is exciting. I'm going to go out there and show y'all them. Um, Mama is feral, but she seems... She hisses and stuff, and every now and then she'll swat at me, but she hasn't stuck her claws out yet. Um, she'll bite, but it's, um, what the fuck are you doing? Like, these are my babies biting. It's not like a, I need to hurt you. Like, she just is scared, and I can get that. But, um, I want to make sure that she eats, so I put food beside her and stuff, you know, and, um... I have been picking up the babies to um, be able to rehome them. Um, they're old enough to be picked up. They are. They haven't opened their eyes yet, but I've read enough stuff online and I've called enough vets and I've done this enough times to feel comfortable with what I'm doing. Um, I rehome the kittens whenever she has babies. She hasn't had babies in our garage though before, so this is a little exciting. Um, and it's a little bit different. Um, I was assuming she was going to be a lot more protective, but she seems pretty chill. Um, I used to smoke outside all the time, and she'd eat it with me in arm's length distance. And as I go out there all the time in the garage, you know, and spend time with her, she's still um, feral, but and doesn't want to get close to me, like she wouldn't want to crawl up in my lap or get petted or anything, but she can be content with me beside her. Now with her babies, she's a little bit more on guard. With her babies, she's a little bit more on guard, obviously. Um, but um, the sooner I hold the babies and start getting them used to um, humans, the better. And, you know, these are going to be rehomed. If I haven't, I don't know if I've stated that or not. I'm going to find people online um, to, you know, adopt these babies out. And then hopefully we'll be able to get her into a cage and get her fixed. Because this is her seventh litter so far. And, um, we've never caught her in the garage like this before, so we'll be able to catch her this time. You know, every time we've caught her, she's ended up being pregnant again. And I don't want her getting fixed when she's pregnant, because that aborts the babies. You know, I'm not gonna kill the babies. There's no really reason to. Um, but, so we do plan on getting her fixed. Um, and taking care of the babies until then. So let's go see them. Okay, so I'm in the garage and I've been sitting here for a while. They're all over the place. There's this big orange cat right here. So if he makes a bunch of noise when he breathes and stuff. So if you hear weird noise, it's him. But he sheds it crazy. So there's hair flying all over the place. I don't know if you saw that. But it's bothering my nose. I'm allergic to cats and I have a bunch of cats. Oh, okay. Now, I'm trying to mess, not mess with him, but I'm trying to get over here with the cat and he's trying to come over here to pet me. Pet me. He wants me to pet him. Um, but here are the baby kittens with the mama. Let's get it closer. Eventually, when Mama moves to go potty, I want to try to get that these blankets all spread out more, so that they're laying on the blankets, not the concrete. Um, because it would just feel more comfortable for them. She has five babies. She has a solid black one, a light tan one, a dark tan one, a gray and white one, kind of like Mama. And then a black, um, tan and white. I guess you would call it a calico kind of cat. 
there seem to be nursing right now. Some of them are at least. They're all her babies. She seems to be content with me sitting pretty close to her, you know, which is good. I want that blue blanket to be under her, not on top of her, but maybe she's cold. Or they're cold, I don't know. Either way. See, every time he gets on the box, she gets more scared. But do you see that little colored one that's mixed? Isn't it cute? And aren't you loud? Yes, you are. You are very loud. But sorry about my um garage being so messy. Um I come in here and I'll pet the kittens um at least once a day. I don't I try not to do it any more than that, honestly. Um and the reason I'm doing that is because if you see all this stuff they can get behind. All this stuff. It's just shoved in the corners and they can get behind that and if something falls on them or anything like that it can be very dangerous so if she wasn't as feral as she was she'd be in the house and uh, at least if it was my house <laughs> but um i'm hoping as long as i pet the cats every day they won't run away from me and hide behind that stuff um but mama's feral so Kittens might listen to mama, and I don't really know what mama cats tell kittens to do. Um, <laughs> so, um, I've done this before. I haven't had her have babies in our garage, though. Normally she has them in our, underneath our neighbor's house. Um, my cats are calling me. But, ow, ow, ow. Pep, I'm going back into... Okay. Say bye to him. Bye bye. So, hi, Lily. So, as they get older, I'll hold them longer and more often. And then, once they're weaned, um, I'm gonna bring them into the house get them um, litter trained more and um, what else oh yeah deflea them if they have fleas I use Dawn dish soap when I do it and I'll sit with a cat for about an hour two hours I guess honestly however long it takes and sit there and individually pick out every single flea which takes a long time but I honestly really enjoy doing this. It's something for me to do. It does take a lot out of me. Um, but it makes baby cats life better. It makes the baby's cats life better because I, the reason I do this is because I rehome them. I'm in my room now. But since it takes so much time and effort and stuff, um, it also takes food because I feed mama cat and then babies before I can adopt the babies out you know but that's why I um, have a small adoption fee it's called a rehoming fee um, you know it takes food and then it takes time and um, resources to be able to do this so I do have a small adoption fee when I rehome them but it's not anything crazy it's just to cover costs um but this will be the last time probably because we're gonna get her fixed as i said so hopefully we'll be able to catch her um but getting her to go into a trap is been proven to be very hard she's pretty smart we have one ourselves, and she can step in it she can step in it without like setting it off and just eat till her heart's content and then walk out. She's a smart cat. So we're gonna have to go get one from the pound 
they rent them for free. And so we'll get it we'll get it for like ten days. And hopefully she won't be smart for that trap. Um, but if she is, then I guess we won't be able to get her fixed. But um I had a good day. I'm just gonna um edit this video and um the doctor's office the doctor's appointment went extremely well. Um now just to see what the physical therapist has to say with everything that's added. Um that appointment's probably not gonna go the way I want it. Um like there's gonna be difficulties for sure. She doesn't seem to want to help me. And it looks like I'm probably gonna have to still see that lady. So hopefully everything we've put on there is enough to help her write up something for the insurance company stating what I need. You know, because you're not disabled as soon as you get a diagnosis. You're disabled before that too, you know. But insurance companies don't really look at it that way. Apparently, when you get the diagnosis, it just automatically appears, you know. Um, but... Hopefully we'll find out what's wrong with me. The EDS stuff is taking a lot longer because, you know, I was going to be sent just straight to the geneticist and now I have to see somebody else, talk to him, get his opinion, and see what he wants to do and is willing to do for me. And it's a guy and guys haven't, I haven't had a best track record with doctors at all, but with guys they seem to not take, they seem to take me less seriously. Um, so, I hope it goes well, and I hope I like him, and I hope he can help me, even if it's not EDS, you know? Whatever the hell it is. Um, I want to get it, I need to get it diagnosed, and need to start treatment for it, because, you know, when you're losing um, abilities every day, it's scary, um, you know, like, I have to sit up different ways, and I'm, and I'm, my pain has been gradually getting worse, and my involuntary movements have been slowly changing, you know, my f legs are starting to raise up more and move, normally they move, like, pretend this is my leg, you know, I'll just go, just like little flinches, but now it's like kicking up in the air when I'm standing sometimes, and it's knocked me on my ass, so, it's making it more and more clear that I really need to go to this EEG place and find out what the fuck is going on, because if it's seizures, they need to be treated, and it's gonna suck, it's gonna be very painful, but that's what I gotta do, and I'm gonna push through it, and probably cry the whole time during it, but I'll get it done! Um, I don't really see crying as a weakness, I feel like it helps me. I cry with a bunch of things. If something's pretty, I'm gonna cry. If it sounds pretty, I'm gonna cry. If it's sad, I'm gonna cry. If it's exciting, I'm gonna cry. Like, I'm a crier. I'm a crybaby, and I don't care about it. It doesn't bother me. Um, sometimes when I'm crying and something is pretty, I don't know, it feels... It's happy tears, and those happy tears feel good. And if I didn't have that, I don't know. I like that. I like feeling that. Um, pure happiness. And even though I don't like feeling pure sadness, it is something that you need to feel every now and then. And... When I got news that I had to go to a, a epilepsy unit, it devastated me, and it still devastated me, kind of. Um, I have had a lot of anxiety over this, um, to the point where I'm getting physical symptoms because of it, um, but I have kind of made my, I guess I'm content with my decision now. You know, I've slept on it for a while, and even though it's going to be painful, 
I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'll get it done. I had a great day. I hope you did too. And I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.